Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Tree Gnome Village quest. Now, for this quest, uh, there are no requirements um, needed, however, you will need to have the combat level to be able to defeat two Khazard commanders um, and a Khazard warlord who are around level 70, level 76, but they're not too hard, and I believe they can be safe spotted as well, so you can just bear that in mind. Um, that's it for the requirements, and as for the items, you need uh, six normal logs or just use your hatchet in your um, tool belt. Um, for when you need that part in the quest. But that's it for requirements and items, now onto the quest starting point. So we're currently at the Yanil, uh, Yanil Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone network. If you don't have this one unlocked, and wish to unlock the other ones as well, I have a guide in the description below on completing the Lodestone network, and it's well worth having, especially when completing quests, just to speed up travelling, etc. Um, but from here, we're going to head to the Gnome Maze, which is directly north of where we are. So uh, I've got a little mini-map icon being shown, just watch where I go. So once you arrive at the Gnome Maze, you want to enter it in the northwest entrance. Now you need to get to the centre of the maze. The easiest way is literally just near where like the little exclamation sign is. If you just keep clicking on the mini map there, there, um, your character should automatically start heading around that way, so you don't have to do too much navigating yourself. So literally just keep aiming to go for the middle uh, of the maze. And again, just watch where my character's going. You know you're on the uh, right track. Then you should pass a couple of hill giants. Um, so if that happens, you know you're on the right track. Once you get right to the end you'll see that there's an opening in the fence, uh, you want to squeeze through there and you'll now be inside the gnome village and you want to go and speak to King Bolren near the spirit tree um, to start the quest properly. So the king will tell you his people are in danger as the gnomes have always been under the care of the spirit tree and its free orbs of protection. Um, however the Khazar troops who have been waging war against them have stole one of the orbs and you need to get that back to help protect the village. So agree to help him and you'll be escorted out of the maze by Elkoi. Um, once you're outside the maze you want to head north into the trenches of the battlefield near the tortoises and meet up with Commander Montai who is the gnome wearing red and grey armour. So firstly he'll ask you to rebuild the battlements which, for which he needs you to supply him with 6 logs. So either give him the logs if you're in your inventory now um, or if not there's various trees scattered around the area just go and acquire 6 normal logs and bring them back to him. So once you've um, given them to him and the defences are up, he'll inform you that with the exact coordinates, their ballista will break through the Khazar's stronghold, where you can then go retrieve the orb. He had sent out three trackers to uh, retrieve the coordinates, but they have not yet returned, so he asked you to find them. Um, so the first tracker is behind the largest building of the Khazar's stronghold at the northwest area of the battlefield, so you can head straight over there uh, to find him, speak to him, and he'll give you a coordinate. Uh, the second tracker is in the Khazar jail in the northeast area of the battlefield, field near the summoning obelisk. Uh, you should be able to just walk in and speak to him through the bars for the coordinate. And then the third tracker is southwest of the second tracker's location hidden amongst some trees. Um, he will be moving around a little bit so you will need to basically try and find him because he won't stay in one spot. The first two trackers will give you the height uh, and Y coordinates you need uh, which you'll automatically remember but the third tracker however has been driven mad as a result of the chaos um, and he will give you um, and he will give you the hint, but it will be in uh, a riddle sort of thing. Um, and there's only four possible things. It can be one, two, three, or four. But basically, you want to take a note on what he says. So if he said less than my hands, that's one. If he says more than my head, it's two. If he says more than we, but less than our feet, it's three. And then my legs and your legs is four. Um, because you will need to enter this missing coordinate back at the blister. But again, um, I, I believe you can just get away with doing one. If it's not correct, then press two. If it's not correct, press 3. If it's not correct, press 4. It won't affect the quest either way. But anyways, once you've spoken to all three trackers, head back to where the commander was and you should then head to the ballista, which is just on the southwest side of the battlefield, and you'll be asked to enter the X coordinate, which was obviously given to you. Um, once you've successfully got a hit, you'll be able to walk uh, straight into the Khazar stronghold uh, near where the first tracker was, so go straight over there. Um, 
The door will be locked, but to the right of the door is a broken wall, so simply right clicking and select the climb over uh, option. As soon as you climb over the crumbled wall, you'll be engaged by a level 70 Khazard uh, commander, uh, who you can fight or just simply climb straight up the ladder to proceed. And then upstairs, uh, you want to search the closed chest to obtain the missing orb of protection. Um, you will also be attacked by another commander whose fate you can choose. Um, once you've got the commander, you want to head back to the maze, however this time, you won't need to walk all the way through it again as Elcoy will be just outside and you can right click and um, put the follow option and it'll take you directly back into the middle of the known maze and then once you've done that go uh, through the um, fence again and return the orb to King Bolron. So King Bolrum uh, will tell you that they were attacked during the night by a Khazard warlord and his troops and they stole the other two orbs of protection from the spirit tree. Um, he'll tell you where to find the warlord and we need to go and kill him to obtain the orbs. So uh, go back through the fence and ask Elcoy to escort you out of the maze and then what you want to do is you want to start heading northwest over the bridge and past the Khazard uh, stronghold near where the West Ardone boundary is. Uh, you'll see some wolves on your way so again you'll know you're on the right track. Um, you want to go speak to Khazard Warlord once you find him. When he refuses to hand over the orbs, you must attack him and kill him. Uh, he has, he's obviously level 76 and has 1900 life points and only uses melee, so he shouldn't be too difficult to defeat. However, he's weak to air spells, so you can attack him at a distance with magic if you find you've not got a strong enough uh, melee combat uh, to be able to defeat him using that. But once you've successfully killed him, the orbs will be automatically picked up and then you want to return the orbs to King Balrun and hand them over to him to uh, finish the quest. So once you return to the king, the orbs will go back onto the spirit tree and the uh, village will be protected once again. It will come up, congratulations, you've completed the tree known village quest. You're awarded two quest points, 11,450 attack experience, gnome amulet of protection, uh, use of the tree known village spirit tree for transportation to other spirit trees, two treasure hunter keys and two hearts of ice. So yeah, fairly easy quest, this is more sort of like a combat focused quest and very short. Um, the attack experience from it is actually pretty good, um, that will definitely bump you up a few levels, especially if you're a low one. Um, and again, the Warlord's not exactly difficult to defeat either, especially if you use the magic uh, option that I said to you. The other main bonus is being able to use the Spirit Trees, um, and there's various ones of them scattered around uh, RuneScape. And this will help massively in the Grand Tree quest. Um, although Tree Gnome Village isn't required to complete that one, I would wait until you've done this just so you can use the Spirit Trees that massively speeds it up then. As for the Gnome Hamlet, I believe it's only cosmetic, so you can choose to get rid of it if you want. It literally serves no purpose then, just obviously as a cosmetic item. Um, but yeah, I don't think you'll run into any problems using this guide. However, if you do get stuck, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best as I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.